Today I'm showing you how you can use Baritone and this works around the same for all versions. If you are looking to download Baritone from somewhere, then I will link the download links to a few of the popular versions down in the description below. Anyways, let's get on to how exactly do you use it. Well, to use Baritone, you can open up the chat over here and then you need to find actually the command prefix. Depending on your version, this might be .b, it might just be a dot, or it might be a hashtag, which it is in my case. Either way, depending on which one of those it is, which you can simply find out by typing them in the chat and seeing if stuff happens. For example, I can type in dot help right here, but that does nothing. So I can type in hashtag help instead, and as you can see, that is working. Or alternatively, dot b and then help just like so. The help command is the first one we're exploring, probably the most useful one for the beginners. As you can see over here, in my case, if I do hashtag help, I'll get all of the commands, which I can expand that right over here. And this is basically a list of all of the commands and then the descriptions of exactly what they do. If I hover over these, then as you can see, it tells you some more. I can click on that as well and as you can see it'll print a bunch of stuff including the usage down here in the chat now as well so right here these are all the commands and these can be used to do stuff within baritone right and most of these are going to be pretty self-explanatory later right now I'm just gonna be explaining the um, main ones and that should definitely help you understand most stuff and then um, most of the other commands should of course start making sense as well so we'll start off with the goal command in my case it is hashtag goal but of course in your case it could be dot goal or dot b and then goal just like that anyways regardless i can type in hashtag goal just like so and now right here i have a box and this is going to be my goal now this will always be my goal um, and I can, let's say I want to change it, I can type hashtag goal in chat once again, just like so. And now this is my goal right over here. To use the actual goal command, I can type in hashtag path. And what hashtag path is going to do is that is going to actually lead me right over to my goal. So basically that is as simple as that. That is how the goal and path commands work. But there are also alternatives to pathing somewhere. So for that, I can use the hashtag go to command in my case. You can go to stuff or coordinates. As an example of this, I'll type in sand just like so. And now I'm going to be pathing right over to the nearest sand block, which in this case was this one right over here. If I go over here again, I can type in go to again, but instead of a block, right, I can type coordinates. Basically, this squiggly line means the block I'm standing on right now, and I can do that for the X, Y, and Z, and as you can see, that means I'm going to the place where I'm standing. I can do that once again, as you can see, hashtag go to, and then my X coordinate, but modified by 20, my Y coordinate stays the same, and then maybe I want to head, um, 10 in my z coordinate right then it's going to calculate that path which is apparently right over here as you can see it'll set the goal automatically the goal was set right over there now the goal was actually one block up from where i was here right and because i have nothing in my inventory i couldn't actually go to there but say i would have had some sand blocks in my inventory baritone would have pathed and jumped up just like so now, of course, um, we can once again, I'll just type in the go to command, instead of using coordinates, using these um, tildes, I believe they're called, you can, of course, also just type in uh, regular coordinates just like this, and they'll go to those coordinates. So I'm right now going to a random location, but let's say I don't actually want to go there. Well, in that case, I can use the in chat hashtag cancel command, just like so, and that is going to actually cancel that. If that doesn't work, then you can also use the force cancel command, just like so. But I'm not using those right now because there's a few co more cool things I can show you. You can use the pause command just like this, and that is going to pause 
but I don't actually want to drown, so I can go ahead and res resume just like this, and then Baritone will resume the path. Now, there's also actually another command, and that is hashtag ETA. As you can see, my I'm going to be arriving to the next segment in 40 seconds, and to the goal in 220 seconds. Now, that was most of it, but there's like three, yeah, three more cool things I'm going to show you. We have the surface command, um, just like this. If you're under in the mines, maybe you're lost somewhere, the hashtag surface command will send you right up to the surface where I'm standing right now, right? Um, that'll basically bring you up to the top. You can use the mine command and that'll just allow you to mine stuff. Maybe I want to mine all acacia logs, for example. Um, I wouldn't know why, but then it'll go ahead, find the nearest acacia log and go to it, start mining it. Now, let's say um, I'm once again standing in this location and I'm interested in the sand, as I was earlier, if you'll remember. Anyways, in this case, I don't actually want to go to it. I just want to know where it is. I can use the hashtag find command. And what that's going to do is allow me to find something, but not directly path to it, as it would with the go to command. Anyways, basically, that was that. Do, of course, keep in mind that instead of my well, my command prefix is the hashtag, but yours could also be the dot, dot baritone, something like that, dot b, you know, it could be any of those, um, try and figure out what it is. Anyways, basically, um, yeah, that was that. If you do have any questions or stuff like that, of course, feel free to leave those down in the description below. But right now, thank you ever so much for watching, and I do hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.